One of the favorite phrases of politicians in the last little while is evidence-based solutions. Don't argue with me, they say. This is an evidence-based solution. You see this? This is a bulb that in 2003, the federal government told every Canadian to use. Get rid of those old bulbs. This is going to fight climate change. It's going to save energy. David Suzuki said, throw those old bulbs away. Don't even use them for another day. Use these bulbs. Well, in another 11 months, they're going to be illegal in Canada because the federal government had said, well, they didn't say we made a mistake, but they say these are polluting, polluting our streams, our waters, our land. We're getting rid of them. So much for evidence-based solutions. And the government picking winners and losers. Sunwing, which left so many Canadians around the world for a week, 10 days on the floors of airports. They got, at the start of COVID, a $100 million grant from the federal government and a $375 million loan. They may never repay because if you're bankrupt, you don't have to repay it. And so they're half a billion dollars and they're leaving Canadians all over the place. Talk about picking winners and losers. Well, and then what about via rail? Via rail in a country that was built on rail. We are surpassed not only by Japan, not only by France, we are surpassed by Lithuania. They have a better train system than Canada. Why aren't governments looking at these things and saying, well, we have a problem here? Kevin Lynch, former clerk of the Privy Council, says this government has a problem because it doesn't deliver the goods. Not only does it not deliver the goods that it promises, it doesn't deliver the goods that it should. Passports, via rail, everything is a schmuzzle. Canadians deserve better. We have done better in the past, and we could do better again. But like this better light bulb, when the government went in with David Suzuki, and now is figuring out that they were wrong, we need to have people of competence, people of conviction, and people who can get the job done. We deserve no less. A number of people tell me I am no longer a liberal. I am a liberal, and this station is not about liberal or conservative politics, nor about left or right politics. It is about efficient government and honest government and getting the best way to help people in Canada. That is why we are not paid by the government, and that is why we're looking for your support. Press subscribe, and if you can make a donation, we appreciate it. <laughs>